Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Danny Walker. It's so glad you joined me today for this recap of Miss Teen USA 2020. If you love content like this and like to keep up with pageants, please be sure to follow my channel. Just subscribe and hit that notifications bell so that you know when new episodes come out every single week. Let's talk about this year's show. Oh my goodness. First, I want to talk about the introductions. I didn't mention this in my prelims recap, but did anyone notice the similarity between these opening number dresses, which I do believe are very teen appropriate, and the opening number dresses my year at Miss USA. Anyone? Anyone notice that? Yeah. Yeah. Comment yes. Yes down below. It's really funny because actually one of my best friends, Christine, she called my year at Miss USA the bridesmaid year. And I, and I agree. I felt like the dresses that they put us in looked very much like those simple bridesmaids dresses that come in literally every single color. You know, the ones that make the bride stand out, not the bridesmaid. Anyway, so I mean, it was, I mean, they looked cute, right? They looked teen. So let's talk about our semi finalists. These were the contestants that stuck out to me during the finale. I liked North Carolina during finals. I preferred her finals performance to her prelims performance. For California, I wrote that she was super happy to be there. Like you could see it on her face. It was really evident. And that for me is what made her really likable. She is someone that I thought would get into that semifinal. Obviously, I love Oregon. So she was making my list right there when I was watching her during athletic wear. I just thought, please send this girl straight to the top five. I'm already ready to see it. To me, Georgia looked super confident during the athletic wear competition. That's the first thing that I noted about her was just like confidence. And that's what we want, right? That's how we want to come off on stage. After her, I took a note on Hawaii. I just said that her smile was so stunning. I think that her smile really lights up the stage. Such a beautiful contestant. Once again, loved the hair. So fabulous. Very teen, very fun to watch. My last note was for Tennessee. So I just liked that she was really present on stage. That made me a fan of her for athletic wear. Friends, if you're watching on a mobile device, please support the channel by screenshotting this episode, post it to an Instagram story, then tag and hashtag me at Danny Walker. I absolutely love your guys' stories. I think they're so creative. Honestly, you're way better at creating them than I am, but they always give me some inspiration from my own. So please be sure to share your thoughts. Congratulate your favorite contestant this year as well. Let's talk about gown. The next contestant that caught my eye for gown was North Carolina. And I thought this was a really beautiful gown on her. I was really surprised to see that she was just wearing a bodysuit and a very high slit. I personally prefer that look for something like a fun fashion competition, but not for a Teen USA gown. So I didn't love that, but she still looked and looked beautiful and did really well. At a distance, I didn't love California's gown, but when I saw it up close, it made me more of a fan. And I thought that once again, she was super happy to be there, but I wish that she would have changed up her facial expressions a little bit during this competition. Oregon gave me chills, probably cause I'm just so proud of her. I've known Shayla since she was 12 years old. So it's really cool getting to see these young women that you've encouraged along the way, get to live out a big dream of theirs. It just made my heart so happy. Nebraska. I loved this gown. The only thing I didn't love were the rhinestone embellishments that were across the top. I feel like they were added after the gown was originally created and I didn't feel like those details added to the gown. I feel like if they were in yellow and blended more, I would have liked it a lot more. I took a note on Georgia. I said I still loved her. I thought she was really confident and in my opinion, I would have put her in a top five. Hawaii, my note for her was still gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I actually thought her prelims performance and the execution of her turn was a little bit better, but regardless of that, I'm being nitpicky, loved her. I really noticed New Jersey during semifinals. I thought that her gown was really teen. Her entire look was very teen. I thought that she looked a lot more age appropriate than a lot of the other contestants that we saw in the preliminary competition. She's very beautiful and I loved her performance. Once again, I took a note on Tennessee. I just love her energy. I love how happy she was to be on stage. And really I thought that it could have been a toss up that she potentially or New Jersey could have made it into a top five. At this point of the show, who was your favorite? Who were you loving to see and who did you think was gonna make it into the top five or who did you think was gonna win? Comment that down below. Our top five were Georgia, Oregon, Nebraska, Louisiana, and Hawaii. And 
I really wasn't shocked by any of these contestants. I was on the fence about Louisiana. I, I had her in my semifinal for sure. I wasn't sure about Nebraska. Um, but other than that, Georgia, Oregon, and Hawaii for sure, I, I saw them in a top five. So because we didn't see any of these mic drop moments, in my opinion, during the finals, it made it really hard for me to figure out how they would place everything. So what ended up happening was Louisiana was fourth runner up. And when they announced that, I was like, okay, I mean, okay, I can see that. Nebraska was third runner up. Things got really tricky for me when it came to our top three. So we, it came down to Georgia, which was our second runner up. I easily could have seen her up there in a top two. Our first runner up is Oregon, who you guys know, I was just totally rooting for Shayla. Super proud of her, just, just beyond thrilled to see her up there, very deserving. And then Hawaii, and what I really loved was just Hawaii's reaction, honestly, on stage. She was so sweet. She was just jumping for joy, and personally, I know some people think that those reactions are over the top, but girl, you just won Miss Teen USA. Just you do, what, do what you wanna do, be excited, and I think that those always make for just like the most memorable and fun playbacks for future shows. So I loved that. I, I think that she was really beautiful. I think she's gonna do a phenomenal job. I really am always impressed though with the teens because it really is difficult to compete with such a huge audience. It's not quite the same as competing for a youth pageant that isn't televised. It's a really, really big deal because so many people around the world watch Miss Teen USA. So there's a lot of pressure there. I totally understand that. And I couldn't imagine doing something like this at their age. So way to go, ladies. Congratulations on all your success. Do not be discouraged after this show. Remember, we've had some former Miss Teen USA contestants that became Miss USA. So come on back for the Miss, the Miss Division. So those are my thoughts on Miss Teen USA 2020. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are out there preparing for a pageant, then please be sure to check out my pageant prep course. I always talk about this because I really believe in the value of it. And I love hearing all the feedback from everybody who takes advantage of this and tells me what an impact it made for their pageant prep or how it made them see things from a different perspective. So. The link to that is gonna be in my description. Please check it out. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, share this episode with your friends, uh, hit that like button, and really just come back for lots of new episodes next time. I appreciate you though for joining me for this one.